We all have dreams, but alas, not everybody's dreams will come true. Motivators say, work hard and always follow your dreams. But to some people, these words of wisdom can be a lie to lead you to heck permanently. There is no clear right path and there is no clear wrong path. How do people get their dreams into reality? Aggression and luck are the keys to a quality life. Money, food, drinks, health, structurally sound buildings, intellectual property, selfishness, respect from other people, and present living dreams. To keep people's dreams to be alive so those people can go to heaven and so the unfortunate captured people their enemies dead or alive will be in permanent dishonorable heck it is legal to put people to heck by using selfish ridiculous legal enforcements on purpose and slash or by deceit on purpose like sprinkling jerk tonium on a fruitcake and naughty becomes the new nice and nice becomes the new naughty reality is our chessboard in this all way war to see whose dreams to come true and to see whose dreams never to come true it is like the solo players objective of knocking down 100 whammies to win infinite happy immortality on one versus 100 it is survival of the fittest to see the reveal of God's favorites and God honors war because God allows the legal system to hurt some people in court cases there are going to be a winner and a loser if God favors all people there should not be a civil slash criminal justice field on earth according to first corinthians chapter 6 verses 1 to 8 i would take matters in my own hands instead of gambling my money for lawyers assistance because lawyers can betray you and if I go on trial as a defendant, I do not need a lawyer anyway because I know that I am going to be guilty of a crime. And judges love to be merciless to defendants or to anyone else. I lose my faith in the civil slash criminal justice system because this system fails me on purpose some of my peaceful dreams are to be a circus acrobat on aerial apparatuses in a leotard in public and to make a splash in a leotard in public but alas my leotard related dreams will never become a reality because I am a male. Let me give you my true testimony. I was doing a handstand in a leotard in my neighborhood in public and some parents bullied me that I cannot. What do you mean cannot? It is physically possible that males 
can perform in their leotards in public like females. If person A is using the adverb cannot to inject fear to potential people, person A should be charged for the murder of potential people's confidences. Perform in a leotard in front of the children because they believed that that was a sexual gesture and because they believed that I am a male. In my side of the story, I was not inappropriately touching the children before slash during the time of bullying. The parents bullied me to leave and if I refuse to leave, they will call the police against me. Threatening to call law enforcement or threatening to sue counts as bullying. And I was so angry at those people permanently like criminal records and the anti-discrimination lessons that I learned in U.S. history were lies, thus breaking my heart. On the next day, I peacefully sent an article from Wikipedia about males in leotards to those same parents who bullied me in their mailbox to convince their minds, but they were not convinced. After those parents gave me a jerky education about leotards against males, I feel offended when I see happy females in their leotards slash briefs and as plan B I want to outlaw leotards slash briefs to outlaw leotard related activities and to ban publications slash merchandise that connect to leotards slash briefs. Part two will continue next time.